Firefighter Susie with Grand Fire and Rescue. Today we're going to talk about our home fire escape plan. I feel like something's missing. Hmm. Sparky! Hey buddy! Hey Sparky, do you have a home fire escape plan? Oh, that's okay. We'll go over to the table and draw a map. Let's get started. All right, so let's start by drawing a basic map and we'll make it of the fire station, which is pretty much like the second house of all firefighters. So we're gonna start by making a big square. There we go. And then every single house has bedrooms, even the fire stations. So we're gonna start with our bedrooms here. There's bedroom one, and then we'll have a bathroom in between, bathroom, and then we'll have our second bedroom here. And then we'll go over, now we're outside of the bedrooms and we'll do the kitchen. And then we'll have this little entryway here, which is our front door. And then to that side, we'll have our living room. Now, every single house has something on the outside called windows. And we're gonna draw those, because as you'll find out, those are very important when it comes to your house being on fire and escaping it. Even bathrooms have windows. And the kitchens usually have a higher up window and the living rooms usually have really big windows so you can look on the outside. Now, every house usually has a porch. So we'll draw, why don't we make a different color for the porch just to make it fun. So here's our big porch. And then we'll do a big tree I am not an artist, but I'll try my best. Here we go, Sparky. Okay, now Sparky, there are two ways to get out of a bedroom. Can you think if your house was on fire, how would you get out of your bedroom? Can you come over here with a marker and show me? Very good, Sparky. That's right. Windows are very important to know where they are in your bedroom because that's a way to escape if you can't go out your front door. And if you can't go out a window, then you need to make sure you understand how to get out the front door. All right. I'm going to show you all the different ways. So now we're in the bathroom. We can go out the window here, and usually there's a door out your bathroom, and so we can go out there too. We can go this way. You can go out that door of your bedroom and get to the front door. Now, most living rooms have some sort of sliding door of some kind. You can escape out of there too, to the porch. There we go. And then anytime you come out, you always want to head straight to the front door and get out. Because the goal, just like your home fire escape plan, you should always have a plan with your family if you're going to go to a tree or over to a neighbor's house. And in our case, we're actually gonna go over to the tree. So you leave your room, over you go to my tree. All right, Sparky, we've talked about two ways to get out if your house is on fire. But there's some, also some really interesting things that we have that are in every single house or should be in every house. They're called smoke alarms. Smoke alarms should be in every single bedroom. So bedroom one should have a smoke alarm. Bedroom two should have a smoke alarm. Every, and in the hallway where anybody is sleeping, there should be smoke alarms. And every single level of your house should have a smoke alarm. That's the second story. That's the basement. They're very important and they save lives. And they make a really loud noise that'll wake you up. And just like firefighters practice for emergencies every single day, we want you to practice your home fire escape plan. Not once, not twice, but as many times as it takes for you to feel comfortable escaping your house if a fire ever happened in your house. And as always, your safety is Grand Fire and Rescue's priority. It's a smoke alarm. Let's get out of here. <laughs>